Welcome back guys, it's Kids on the Playground here and today we're back with another video in Scratch and today we're back with yet another person in the studio. Um, so what's your name? Uh, I'm Jalen or I'm Jalen7 in Scratch. Okay, so um, he made a little project for us today um, and he'll be like showing us through the project, all that sorts of stuff. So how long did it take you to make this project? About a couple months. Okay, so you must be enthusiastic to um, actually share this project with our YouTube channel. So. Yeah, if you would give us a little demo of the project, that'd be nice. So in this game, find the blocks. You're trying to get as many blocks as you can. Some of them are out in the open. Some of them are like hidden that you have to uh, click things to get, like this one. Then the, some of them fly around the map. And uh, this code, there's some codes hidden in the map, like this one. You enter it in a code box right here. That's it's a hidden code box, and then you get this block right here. Some of them are draggable, like I just hit this one right here with the rock, and um, some of them, so they're just hard to get. Use the arrow keys like I just did to navigate around the project. And there's also a block dex. Where you can see all the blocks, like I got um, nor the normal block already. I got uh, so the I didn't get the duo block yet. So I got this one. It looks like there's a lot of stuff in this project. A lot of um, different sprites. Yeah. And right, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a small snippet of the whole game. I I drew my own sprites. It's not really hard. You can uh. There's some, I have a base I use in the game to make these. I'm going to start coding the game. All right, so first you need to make a list and name it blocks. You want to make sure you hide the, the list blocks. I'm right, going to start with the backdrop because that's like simple. All right, so first... Um, you have the, get the green flag, and then you get this, the list, you say delete all the blocks to reset the progress every time, and then I have a sound, I was, I think I had a sound, but I am, you can get your own, uh, song if you want, I can get, I got the sound from, I got this one on it, theme, and it's uh, from a different game that I took inspiration from. And right, so after you do the backdrop, you have to um, you go to the let's go to the first block. So the first block's easy to code. You just make sure you get the green flag. Make sure it shows. Get the forever loop. And then if then else. So for here, you do the, this one. And then you grab, you grab a backdrop number, so it only shows up on the first backdrop. So instead of hiding it, you use the ghost effect and make sure it hot and it just hides. So the next one, then you get the when this sprite clicked, and you go to the list and add add. Normal to blocks, and then I have this. I think I have I have the sound, and then you press start sound ding, and then you put hide so it hides. Let's see. So when you click it, it disappears, and then uh, you can go to the next. So the next block is the construction block. And it's, uh, and it's the block that appears on the second backdrop. But to get to the second backdrop, you need to code, we need to code the left and right arrows. So get, get the green flag. Forever. If, um, so you get if touching mouse pointer and mouse down. And then you click, you go to switch backdrop to 
and then you go to operators, get the minus sign, and then you go to looks to get the backdrop number, and then you do minus one. And that's to make that's to switch the backdrop backwards, and then uh, you get the sound effect crank and then you get the you put wait 0 0.3 seconds so that you can't hold the hold the button and it just slides around every single um every single backdrop then you go to the right area arrow and do something similar okay go to the right arrow switch the backdrop to the first one, make sure it's the first one, and then do the forever loop again. If mouse pointer and mouse down, and then you instead, this time you put next backdrop, start sound crank, and then 0 0.3 seconds. Right, let's test it. So you can switch through the backdrops and the block disappears. This is only two backdrops, it'll cycle back. And then um, you can get the second block. Right, do the same thing here, just copy this in here and copy this in here. Then you switch this one to backdrop two and this one to Construction. Okay, this will add construction to the blocks. Okay, next we're gonna work on the sign block. The sign block is a tricky one because it has the mechanic of the construction sign being hit. So like, let's go to the construction background. All right, there we go. Oh, let me stop this. All right, so see so this construction thing is right here. You can click on it. So let's make it so you can click on it and then the block will appear. So you go here. Do this. Take the same one from here and to here. Make sure it's switched to costume one. Then you get when the sprite clicked. Make sure you don't make sure the block's not there. So you push not, and then this is when the blo the blocks can is handy. Blocks contains sign. That way you can't cl keep clicking it over and over. So switch costume to costume two. You can say R for two seconds, and then. You broadcast a new message called sign. Then you go to the sign block, and then you get this. Make sure the ghost effect equals zero. Now for this one, go to the construction block, take this, put it in the sign block. Okay, get it here, and then just take this out. You don't need it right now. Get the same thing here, and then add sign to blocks. Now for the last block, we're doing the jet block, which is one of the two blocks that fly across your screen. This one's a bit complicated. So let's start with um, making this one, and then add jet to blocks when it's good. First, get the green flag. Make sure it's hidden. And then you do wait until backdrop number is equal to two. Which makes sure you're on the second one and then it will show up and start flying across the screen. Now you get to 
So make sure it's on the other side. So you press go to negative 237 and then a, a y value of pick random 100 to negative 100. So that way it'll spawn on either side. So then you get a forever loop to make sure it goes forever. And then you get the glide. 0 0.7 seconds to y th 237. And then you get the pick random 100 to negative 100 again. And then make sure it shows by putting um, set ghost effect to 100 to make it hide it. And then you can set the duration to how long you want, but ev I'm making it every 10 seconds it does it again. And then it go okay, copy this to make it go right here. And then set ghost effect to zero. Okay. So that means every 10 seconds it will uh, spawn. Let's, let's try the game. So, you can, so I clicked on that. And then we got the, the blocks. And then the thing is you want the sign you want the jet block to be at the front layer, so it just doesn't matter, just click it right here. It should be at the front layer, that, that means it goes over the construction side. You can click it, and then the sign block needs to be over it too. Make sure it's at the front layer as well. And then, so basically that's the game. Okay. Yeah, so basically that's it, and you can get the jet block, just need to catch it. Got it, hey, that's the demo. Okay, so you, I'm just gonna stop the project. It's not gonna look like this, because it will be, a, I added a thumbnail. So I renamed the, rena I renamed the project to find the blocks. And then, um, Uh, I hope you like my project. It's just a small snippet of the big project. And uh, I hope this tutorial helped you use list as well as the code the code as well. So um this is Jalen's first video with us. So go to Jalen7, show him some support. Um just look at his projects and stuff. He has really underrated projects. I think you'll find a lot of his projects pretty cool. So yeah, just take a look at his um, uh, scratch profile. Please like um, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments on what I should make next, you can post them. And bye.